welcome to another Microsoft Surgical Linda tutorial. My name is Dr. Alan Ali Nasser, and I'd like to share with you another tutorial in the use of bioceramics, in this particular case for one step apexification. We have a nine year old uh, patient with tooth number nine being devitalized. There is a large area at the apex of this tooth, and um, apexification traditionally used to be done with calcium hydroxide treatment for multiple visits, and it could take up to a year to form a, an osteoid. Today, with the use of uh, putty and bioceramic root repair material, this procedure can be done in a single visit. Following access um, and instrumentation, initial instrumentation, a size 40 endosequence 04 taper file can immediately reach the apex of this tooth. Uh, radiograph confirms full length. At this point, the apex is completely open, so the 40 can actually reach beyond the apex. However, once the working length is fully achieved, um, and after initial irrigation, here you can see the use of N size AD04 endosequence file, where, which right after the first use, it can actually easily reach the apex. I certainly believe that this is an adequate size at this point by going a little bit on the size lateral and cleaning up. The rest of the procedure and the cleaning can be done using copious amount of irrigation using the endovac system. I'm a huge proponent of the system. I find it to be a great advantage to use for sending a large volume of irrigation down to the apex. Following sodium hypochlorite irrigation, I just used the EDTA for one minute and I usually run about 20 cc of full strength hypochlorite in a particular case like this, followed by about 2 or 3 cc of 17% EDTA. And after one minute, then I use the ultrasonic and I activate the uh, irrigate uh, the, the ED 